so here we are vegetables once again guys um i want to get up a vegetarian hmm? <laughs> people don't eat meat things so guys um welcome back of course i'm in the kitchen as you can see and yes i'm here going to share with you a meal we're going to have for supper what you call dinner i don't know the difference between supper and dinner please somebody help me in the comment section and appreciate that mm. for us we call it supper that evening meal is what, what is what i'm preparing so guys right here is otigo in my language it's called otigo in english somebody sometime back told me it's called leafy okra yes um if, if that's not the name at, at least i think by the word okra you can know what i'm talking about it's that slippery vegetable yeah there's also that um the solid one what is it called at least that one i know it's okra so this is like the leafy version of that one that you know in case you didn't know this so guys um this is one of the real real traditional vegetables that we have and i'm here going to share with you a unique way of making it really local but very tasty of course you know so for starters it is dry season like i told you and yes i just bought it i think you can see how they tie it really tiny like when it's dry season just know the demand of such vegetables these very traditional ones can be very high in the market so you can see how tiny they tie this thing it's weird right but for people near the maybe water uh, rivers or whatever like um wells you know they can plant this and they don't need to buy of course the person who sold me this i'm very sure stays near a water body so guys i'm going to prepare this that alone always mixed it's always mixed in vegetable cold bowl but for this case i'm going to mix with this what some of you one time called me you told me in the comment section sometime back i cooked it in a different way and i asked for its name in english and some of you told me it's called is it anchovies i don't know if that's the pronunciation if it is not please i am sorry but i hope you've got what i'm what i'm meaning but um i'm so used to calling it silver fish so guys i'm just going to prepare this with this but there is an option you know it's not like can only be prepared with this you can prepare with any meat for example today i'm going to show you actually two things one which is prepared with this and of course one which is prepared with this this is also meat depending on your your taste of meat you can do any meat i've never tried with chicken though but any meat can do so guys as you can see the way the soup is very thick um so i'm just going to put this aside and it's going to wait for its turn i want to show you how it's mixed together with this as well as with this you like i'm giving you options for those who don't eat meat can do this you get it yeah so how about you first wash this very fast since the fire is now ready let me just wash this very fast and this one is best washed in in hot water it's best washed in hot water like it removes the sand which is attached to it i don't know why it always comes with sand please somebody let me know if you stay near a lake or near where they do fishing eh? explain to us why there is always soil on these things hmm? <laughs> For us, we don't have any water body nearby, so I have no idea totally. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I need some water, and I think it's still somewhere here. So, guys, I'm going to leave it here for like a minute or even two, just to soak a bit before I can add in the cold water and wash it off. And then I'm going to be removing this. Oh, before we go far, guys, I got my prescription already done. Um most of you all even i think 90 percent or 99 percent do not know that i have eye problems i do and i broken my lenses <laughs> like accidentally it's not like i did it knowingly so i finally got my prescription done and yeah so once in a while you'll be seeing me doing glasses yeah that's exactly me i'm here but the weather is not really but i always get a lot of headache especially in very bright sand very bright sun and maybe light and all that kind of stuff but right now it's not so bad so i can do without hmm? <laughs> um i was told carrots were for i've eaten a lot of carrots and it looks like my eyes are not even getting better hmm? i don't know what else to do please let me know if you know any solution apart from glasses hmm? so that i avoid this frequent i'd have a i think in a day especially in this hot season i have a lot of headache hmm? i don't know what other solution but for now i'm just doing glasses guys so let me be um, plucking off the leaves as we give it the minutes for the silver fish to soak. So all you need is just the leaves and that's all. 
all right so guys it has soaked enough now let me just wash it off actually let me just add in some water because it's properly washed when it has a lot of water so that in case of any soil particles it can sink down So I'm just going to do the double washing. So I'm going to add in the oil. I prefer to measure. I don't like a lot of oil. Let me just add a little bit. Yeah, I do, I do. The fire seems really hot. Let me test if it's hot. You're good to go. So guys, I've just added in the, the anchovies, what is it called? The silver fish, okay. Let me just remove this one. On to the onion. If I'm only doing this to make sure that the soil particles go back down here. Yeah? Like this. Alright. So let's leave it just a bit. Then let me start adding some salt. Not much, remember it's not too much also. I'm just going to bring it up. Yes, something has freaked me. What? I think the bone. You can see? It must be a big one, some in between there. It has freaked me. Remember, we've not yet added water, just the oil, the onion, and the silver too. My fire is really hot, guys. So I'm going to add in this. This is pepper, green pepper, and tomato. So at this point, we are going to leave it until the tomato softens so let's leave it like that for some minutes and then we check later Is softening as you can see and of course the aroma from the green pepper is doing it justice guys mm. so let's leave it a little longer and you see by the mere fact that this silver fish or the anchovies soaked in hot water 
trust me it will not get take long to get ready yeah, it will be really quick on fire wow and you know just this alone you can stop at this point and serve this with posh i like this a lot and um you could also do this as side dish especially for people who do beans um this is really nice on beans and then you serve it with posho guys or even rice Ooh. Huh. okay i think i want to stop on this how about that <laughs> let's branch huh? guys is it okay yeah. and then we just do the the otigo with meat on the how about that hmm? <laughs> because the way this thing is looking it's another problem to my test buds eh? So let's just do it some little soup, little, like I mean little. You remember also I told you the meat was really, really thick, like, I don't know, is it called grape or what? I don't know, but really thick, almost without water. 